Hey all and welcome back. Firstly, I'm sorry for the lack of videos over the last few months. I've been moving house and not only was it just moving house, but we had to renovate the house before we moved into it. So it's been really hectic the last few months, but we're there. We're in, uh, I've moved the car, so I'll show you the process of getting all the fleet over to the new place. And then we'll take a look at the new workshop and the new garage, because there's a garage and a basement workshop. So plenty of space for, uh, for projects. Um, I've also got to move all this yet, so we'll just box that up, we'll get it over. The garage and workshop are not set up yet, so I'll probably do a separate thing on that, um, how to set it up best. I've got a couple of ideas and a couple of plans, even possibly tempted to dig a pit. So uh, we'll see how that goes and what the cost of doing that sort of thing works out as. So uh, let's take a look at moving the cars and then we'll have a look at what we've got to do to get everything else sorted. <laughs> Right, this thing needs to go. I remove the van so we can get the Regal and the Anthem and the Rob in here. And then once that's gone, we can get the Robin out of the garage, get the Porsche in the garage, and the van there. Right, Porsche won't start, battery's flat. Let's try this one for the bongo. It's a bit wishful thinking, but it's worth a try. Right, this is flat, we need it charged. On the 9 to 8, we got a 12 volt post here. The battery's in the back, so we're going to try connecting to that, connecting to the body, and see if we can get it started. <laughs> Look how small it looks compared to a new Volvo. Now it's time to remove this collection of, let's say, junk. Collect, junk. collect, don't say junk, collectible classics. Junk! Call the Scrappy. Everyone boo that man. <laughs> boo! I'll call you the Scrappy. Shame! <laughs> There's fence taken down and a lot of parts removed in the back of the car. Right, next bit. And there it is on the trailer. Get some straps on it, and we're good to go. And uh, we've got a boot full as well. Coolio! How many geniuses does it take to attach some tie down straps to a Robin Reliant? Take um, one. To me, to you, <laughs> to me. We haven't got that much skill. <laughs> we'll compare us to the greats.
and then off he goes to his new home. So all the cars are here now. We've got the van. I've got to do the fuel pump on that after filling it up with veg oil that I think has popped the front main seal. So we'll take a look at that. And then we've got the Regal there with the chassis. Uh, just a little bit of finishing work to do on the chassis, then we've got to work out how we're going to fit that bike engine. Uh, yes, it looks sorry for itself, it's meant to. And tucked down here we have got the chassis that we picked up from that field the other day. Off that I want the axle and the gearbox. We're going to use that on the ant chassis, which is just over there, underneath. We've got the ant body over there. I've been talking to a chap about getting some body work done on that, so look out for that hopefully soon. And then round here... We have the Porsche on the drive. You're going to see a lot more of this Porsche now. We've got the Robin in the uh, garage at the moment, but that's covered in all the stuff from renovating the house. So I've got to get that out so we can get the Robin out. And then a lot more work on this. So this is going to go and live in the garage. And we'll be seeing a lot more on this beauty. I always wanted one of these since a kid. I've had this for now about two years. Uh, and it's just kind of sat on the drive since lockdown so work on that will begin once it's in its new home so there's the robin all this stuff has got to go from renovating the house so a lovely sized garage a couple of things to do on this just uh, spark plugs condenser um, points etc uh, retune it and then that car's done so we'll have a couple of ventures in that I'm gonna put a workbench across the back just higher than the bonnet of the Porsche so I can work on it um, so yeah looking forward to doing that and now let's show you the basement if we climb ourselves past all the parts that are stuck here a couple of A-frames wheels uh, another A-frame oh, squeeze through close-up of the ant Let's have a look at the ant. I love the ant. There it is in all its glory. Surprising, not much needs doing to do that. And then down here we have a basement. Oh, it's a bit dark. No monsters I have checked. And this is the basement. Gonna put a workbench along the back there. Some seats there, I think. TV on the wall, maybe. I could get a pool table in the middle. No, probably not. I'll probably bring the chassis down here so I can actually weld them in the dry as long as they can't smell me welding in the house above. So. So that's it, guys. That's where I've been the last three months, trying to get all this stuff sorted, getting all the vehicles moved, getting the house done so the family can move in. Uh, so please, if you're enjoying these videos, do hit the subscribe button and the likes. It all helps the channel. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Ha, ha, ha.